that cat isn't just my vision. You know, it's a it's a combination of of people who have worked here over the years who have guided it in that direction, and it it's changed and it's moved and it's gone in all sorts of directions. You know. I wanted the record label to reflect my record collection, to have electronic music in it and have punk music in it and have classical music in it and screamy noise records in it or an ambient record in it or whatever in it. It, it needed to reflect what my record collection or our record, not my record collection, our record collection. You know, at the end of the shot, that whole post-rock thing, he kicked off with Tortoise and the rest of it, and it was just like, wow, people making records as a band that is really influenced by electronic music. And then, of course, from there, I went back to the whole kind of Krautrock thing, you know, that really early Can, Neu, Le Dusseldorf, Cluster, Mobius, you know, the really early Kraftwerk records, kind of, um, that's where I sunk my head into, you know. That was kind of my next musical adventure after the shop shut really well it was kind of, no it went on while the shop was at the end of that shop you know that's what i was really into like researching you know those early german kraut rock records really and going wow electronics guitars drums do you know what i mean wow you know and that's when i you know i kind of you know the wheels turned didn't they and just go well i'm free i can go anywhere now you know, I'm not just confined to this kind of space. And I love that attitude. And I think people who have that attitude, just it just serves them so much better, do you know what I mean? It really does. Our thing as a record label is about demos. We listen to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of demos. Demos are so important to us, do you know what I mean? The music that, send, that people send in is where it's at. And it's kind of like the guy that comes in you know, with his, you know, with his cassette of music that he's made or the label that he started, this brand new, haven't heard it, it's really raw, it's really underground. That's what we're really excited in, that really early beginning sound, you know. Each week we put up a new demo. We've got a demo website that's just about champion new music for nothing for the sake of getting this artist's name out there, you know, we're like, wow, you're brilliant. You're really good. People should be checking out your music, you know? But they're not heard because most record labels have a bin it demo policy. They, you know, you send them a CD or an MP3, they won't listen to it. And, and if a CD turns up, they put it in a bin. And I know that. We don't. We listen to everything. And from that, we find amazing music. And we like to develop artists from that embryonic time, you know, just like we like to sell those records at the early days, you know, when Graham were melting the Black Dog records and no one was interested in them, I wanted to sell them because we heard something in those records that you, you didn't get anywhere else that was different, you know, that like I said, it was forward thinking and was progressive, you know, and like, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm proud of us for that, you know, and I kind of, I hold on to that through the massive ups and downs as a record label, I think at least, <laughs> at least we've kind of stood true under our banner of that kind of stuff, you know, which is good. <laughs>